Welcome Cancers. I'm back with another video, guys. Alright, so it is like 3.45 in the a.m. here. I just felt like getting up and doing you guys' video. Hold on, give me a second because my mouth or well, my throat is kind of like dry. Hold on, give me a second. Cancers. I'm drinking some pineapple juice. All right, some cancers. Cancers. Let's see what's going on for the month of October. What is coming towards cancers? Um. I'm very interested to see what's going on with my cancers. I have quite a few cancer friends, and I'm interested to see what's coming in for cancers. Um, you guys be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to Comment below if this message resonates with you. If you're new, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, Cancers, let's go. Let's see what we got for my Cancers. This is going to be for October. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have Cancer anywhere in those placements, you can utilize this video. All right. Cancers. Message is there for cancers. I got the Emperor, the Page of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Okay. The Four of Wands. The High Priestess and the Star Card. The Seven of Wands. Okay. And the Page of Swords. The King of Swords. And the lovers. Okay. All right, Cancers. We got the nine of wands here at the bottom of the deck. So you're you're guarded. Okay. You may be feel wounded. Okay. This is the wounded warrior card. You may have you may feel pretty banged up. You may feel like you know you have to watch your back. You got to keep your guard up. With the queen of wands, we got the. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, so you could be like kind of trying to hide um, from someone or just kind of like stay off the stay off the map. I feel like you guys are feeling like you got to watch your back. OK, you're just feeling like you got to watch your back. Yes, because I'm getting like y'all are in, feel stressed, overwhelmed a little bit. Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is double overtime. Like, this is overly, overly worked up. Some of you have anxiety over this situation. Now, I have your energy. I have the, the emperor here. The emperor here is Aries' energy as well as, you know, feeling in control or feeling, you know, the need to have control. Um, the King of Pentacles is here. Two very dominant energies here. Page of Pentacles. So some of you could be in contact with the boss. Some of you could be in contact with the boss. 
some of you with the four of wands here i'm hearing man of the house woman of the house um the four of wands this could be like a a father some of you are in communication with your father or a older male okay um this could be someone in the family um this is interesting why is the emperor here let's just go ahead and dig why is the emperor here two of cups oh no this is about um this is about a connection the two of cups isn't like the lover's card this is you know feeling you know accepted this is about having a bond or connection or even a partnership okay the five of pentacles is saying and oh my gosh the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles and the four of cups like and the queen and the empress here as well some of you just have like this bitter taste in your mouth when you have to come together with this person I feel like you don't like this person. This person just, I just feel it. Like the Four of Cups is feeling a disappointment. The Five of Pentacles is feeling rejected or left out in the cold um, or just not enough. I'm just getting like some of you guys feel like, oh, this is never enough. Okay. Um, some of you for the men, I feel like, you know, male cancers, um, this could be you and your, in a father role. Um, but I'm seeing, I'm also getting, I'm getting a few different storylines here. I'm getting man of the house. I'm getting, um, you know, a boss energy. I'm getting that energy as well too. Why is the two of cups here? Yeah. The 10 of swords. I feel like you may feel like you you are losing control of a situation and that is possibly why you feel um you know overwhelmed filled with a little you know an anxiety okay cuz I'm getting like you're always in your head or some of you are just like afraid to you know speak your mind um or afraid to tell somebody that you're being overworked or that you're tired okay even though you want the money for some of you this is a work this is work related okay even though you want this opportunity you want you you know you this is what you want but you feel over over extended okay maybe you don't want to tell them that with the page of pentacles because the page of pentacles is you know talks about offers or money i mean it's, it's a small offer or the, uh, you know a conversation yeah see the world here is saying that a chapter is closing okay but that ten of stores in the world you're definitely contemplating on closing this chapter why is the king of pentacles here yeah ten of wands just jumped out like the Ten of Wands just jumped out. Like it's just, you guys feel burnt out. Okay, you're burnt out. Um, it's too much competition or it's too much to, like it's just too many people um, coming at you or it's too much competition. It's just overwhelming. I feel like you guys feel overwhelmed. Okay, definitely. Like you're, you're feeling overwhelmed. Some of you are getting ready to close the chapter because it's, it's just too much. Um, even though this is something that you possibly want, an opportunity that you possibly want, I feel like some of you are ready to close the door. Okay. Wow, this reading took a shift once I started getting clarifiers, huh? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah, see the Two of Pentacles. You're doing a lot of back and forth. You're doing a lot of back and forth. You're overextending yourself, Cancers. Okay? You're doing too much. You're doing too much. Okay? When are you going to realize 
that you're doing too much, okay? Y'all may just need to sit down somewhere. Give yourself some time. Give yourself a break, okay? Now with the Four of Wands here, why is the Four of Wands here? For some of you, this is a marriage. Some of you are ready to walk out on. For some of you, this is a... This is home related. Yeah, see, you feel like this this environment, whatever the situation is, there's an environment that you're being placed in that you feel like it's just like, what is going on here? It's just too much. You feel like there's just this negative energy with the devil here. You can be dealing with the Capricorn. You got Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Yeah, like maybe you you see what I'm getting is with the nine of swords again revealing itself the eight of pentacles. You're overworking, okay. The this work, this is work related, okay. Or you're doing something. You're you're diligently working towards something like crazy. You're working like crazy. Like y'all are overdoing something. Why is the devil card here? King of Cups and the Knight of Cups. For some of you, like I said, for some of you, this is a marriage that you're ready to kind of like separate or close a chapter on. Or wrap something up for some of you it's work related um, and for some of you it's home life but whatever it is you are like <laughs> at your wits end with it okay why is the high priestess here you're using in the past you were very very stuck in your head okay you thinking a lot Thinking a lot, you know, some of you are crying over spilled milk here with the Five of Cups energy. The five of Swords is feeling defeated. Like, what am I going to do? I'm getting like, what am I going to do energy, okay? And you you don't feel um, like you're getting recognized. You feel like you're doing all of this work, but you feel like you weren't getting any recognition for it. Um, why is the Eight of Swords here? The magician. Your intuition was telling you something here in the past. Like something about you're trying to gain clarity on something. Because I got the high priestess and the ace of swords. So intuitively... feel like you guys felt like something wasn't right um or there's something that you need to reconsider because i feel like you were in your head in the past like you were, you were doing a lot of thinking oh you was thinking about what's best for you the nine of pentacles and the ten of cups like you're thinking about you know i'm gonna do what's best for me okay um and i feel like you're making that clear why is the Ace of Swords here? King of Wands. Like you, I feel like you're making it clear that you are looking out for your best interests. Okay. You feel like this person is giving you the runaround with the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. You're not here for it. <laughs> With the four of cups, it's like, nah, I'm not, you're not going to give me the run around, okay? You're not going to give me the run around. Four of cups is like, nah, don't think so. Because you feel like it's unfair. It's not right. We got the star card for future energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Why the star card here? For some of you, um, I'm getting like some of you are 
leaving um, something that you've been working on for a while for something new. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Like some of you are looking for um, taking a different route. Okay, and you're going to be more, you're just going to feel more vibrant, more alive with this star card. Okay, and this Ten of Pentacles is saying a different offer. Um, yeah, you're waiting for so another offer here. We got the Queen of Cups, okay, Wheel of Fortune, yeah, you're, you're shifting your energy, Nine of Pentacles, yeah, you're shifting your energy. Some of you are going to take some time off with the Hierophant, you're going, I'm sorry, with the Hermit, you're taking your time off, um, and waiting for the universe to work in your favor. Um, some of you are, you're, you're shutting something down here. Something here is like, uh, <laughs> all that, it's not working. It's not working. Seven of Wands, you feel like you have to always stand up for yourself. You feel like you got to, you know, maybe you feel like I'm getting like being jumped or attacked. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Feel pressure. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah. And the Chariot. You guys, it's energy. I'm getting like somebody is fighting for somebody's attention. There we go. Six of Wands, like I said. It's like you feel like you have to fight and go through all of these hurdles to get, you know, to get to the top. This is the top energy. Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Like you feel like you're doing the best that you can. But are they seeing that or are they coming down on you? Did they miss out on a, on someone or on a great opportunity from you? Okay, because I don't feel like you're missing out. I feel like you're doing what's best for you. So you're going to always come on, on top. Other people are viewing you. They're watching you, okay? You're being spied on. Why the Page of Swords here? Nine of Cups. Why the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, they want you to, they, I'm getting like, somebody wants you to feel defeated. Like, the Nine of Cups and the Five of Swords is a wish fulfillment. And the Five of Swords is saying like, you know, they want you to feel like how you feel. Because I feel like you feel like you're being attacked. You feel like they're, you know, I'm getting like jumped energy. I'm getting like ganging up. Okay, they want you to feel that way. They're sitting back watching you, looking at your reaction, see how you how you respond to things. Yep, because they want you to move on and find something new. Six of Swords and the Fool. But I feel like they want you to make the decision. With the Seven of Cups. They want you to be the one to make the decision. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here? I feel like you... Um, I feel like this truth... I feel like this is something that you know. I feel like you know this already. Um, I feel like intuitively, with you, with you being the High Priestess energy and the Eight of Swords, you already were already in your thoughts about this. Okay. So you may have found out a, a harsh truth, but I feel like you're okay with it. With the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, you're like, you know what? I'll be happier. Do something new anyway. Yeah, like you've come to this realization. Um, you've come to this realization. Like, you know, it is what it is. The outcome is the lovers and the four of pentacles, Okay. For some of you that that this situation is love related, I feel like you're still holding on to the love. Like it's like no love lost. I'm getting hearing that no love lost with the Queen of Cups and the Hermit. Like I said, you're just going to you just need you need your space. You need space. You need your space. No love lost. Okay. Yeah, you just need peace. You're trying to find peace. 
Like, you're trying to find balance, okay? This situation here just did not work, okay? This situation here is just not going to work. Um, you're tired of being disappointed in this situation. And for some of you, you're dealing with the Gemini. Yep. And see, you don't want to look back at this situation later with regrets. And like I said, for a lot of you, this is work-related, okay? For a lot of you, this is work-related. For some of you, this is love-related. But this tower moment has, has come with the tower here, okay? This tower moment has come. The, the shake-up has already happened. And when the universe conspires in that way, okay, get ready for bigger and better. <laughs> get ready for bigger and better. I'll tell you that right now, okay? Get ready for bigger and better things, okay? Because the universe conspires where it sees fit and how it sees fit, okay? So let's see what advice we have for my cancers. What advice is there for cancer, please? All right. See, we have play. You got to switch up your energy, okay? Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be too serious, okay? So definitely time for you to shift your energy. I feel like some of y'all have been working too hard, have been overdoing something. You need to step out, okay? Step out on the scene. I know we are still in, you know, quarantine a little bit, but there's still, we're not all the way in quarantine. You know, y'all can step out. Just make sure you wear your mask. Have a little bit of fun. Even if you stay in the house, cut some music on. Um, you know, put on your favorite dress or your favorite pair of jeans and just have some fun. Okay, because yeah, see, you've been this warrior woman. You've been going hard. <laughs> you've been going hard. You've been going real, real hard. And I feel like if it's unappreciated, then you most definitely, it's time for you to leave, okay? But I feel like that's something that you already know. You already know that, okay? Any advice for cancers? Thank you. All right, so we got align your life, all right? What is not aligned or needs to change? Like I said, whatever the situation was, it was not aligned for you okay it was aligned for you when it was but now you're going into something new now it's a different shift you need to shift your energy some of you decide to share your voice come out of the cave and speak your voice okay and that's all fine and dandy if that's what you need to do then you did i'm pretty sure you did it with grace i'm pretty sure give me one more card for cancers Okay, we got transformation. Okay, some of y'all are going through a transformation, okay? Going through an awakening. And there's going to be a shift, okay? All right, so things are changing at a cellular level. You guys are going through a shift, okay? And I did see that tower moment there. So this is like at the breaking point of the situation. And I'm telling you, there's something new and some fresh energy coming towards you. But you got to shift your energy. You got to align with what you want, okay, to manifest your desires. So if you want uh, love, light, energy, make sure you position yourself in that energy. Make sure that you're doing the necessary things to align yourself with that energy, okay? All right, Cancers. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share the video with your family and your friends. And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.